teleport closets. When you, um, there's nothing worse about a map than when you have an enemy spawning in like nine minutes after the fight is over. So let me show you how to make some good teleport closets. Now I go ahead and just kind of draw a little pentagon shape here. See, there are as many ways to make teleport closets as there are shapes in this world, really. So, um, just kind of see what you like. I'm gonna go ahead in this video just kind of show you what I do. Um, this is how I learned it. And yeah, so I draw that pentagon shape and then I draw these lines. These lines will actually be our teleporters. I go ahead and go to vertices mode, split the lines like this by right clicking, grab all this stuff and then drag them forward. And now we got our lines that are gonna be our teleporters. Um, so let's go ahead and give them some actions and some tags. First of all, I would like to have six different tags. So this is gonna mean uh, six different teleport destinations for them. And the reason for that is that when uh, when an enemy is on the destination, it's gonna be blocking the next one from coming in. Of course, you know, the, depending on, on the fight, he might just move off like instantly, you know, trying to chase you, but uh, you know, not necessarily. So it's definitely more optimized to have them uh, standing on the, um, standing on the teleport lines. So next up, let's uh, give them the action. So I typically just do the basic action 97. This is just a regular teleport, but you can you can um, you can play around with this. You got silent teleporters. You got monster only teleporters when you want to do maybe stuff within the map where like the player can't run over it. Uh, there's a lot of options like that. Um, the thing about silent teleporters is they are just going to appear out of thin air. And personally, uh, at, for for polish when it comes to maps. I like when I can hear something going on, especially if something is spawning behind me. Uh, I like the these regular teleporters because you'll hear everything, you'll hear them moving, you'll see the particle effect, it'll be very clear that they're spawning in and where they're spawning in. So um, I like it for that reason. So I go ahead and just give them the, that action. Now let's go ahead and uh, add some revs. Uh, well, I guess that's not what I had in my uh, copy paste. Uh, rev. And go ahead and copy paste that over. Cool. Uh, next up uh, for these closets, oh, that's strange. Uh, these don't have uh, their action <laughs> there. Um, but yeah, another thing about teleport closets uh, is you want to optimize all this empty space. You you want to just pack them in there just as as tightly as possible. Um, so I. I kind of get obsessive over this. It doesn't have to be like this this much, but uh, I go ahead and just close them off like that. These vertices need to move up a little bit. <laughs> All right, and this back line, like right up against them like that, and that is uh, uh, pretty nice and optimized. Next up, you gotta make sure that, well, <laughs> you gotta make sure that these lines extend all the way across too. Um, you can have them against the wall too. There's uh, that's the thing about these closets. You can get creative with them. Uh, there's just so many ways of doing it. But, um, but yeah. So the enemies are gonna walk forward, and you gotta make sure that like their origin will pass by these teleporters. Um, you can even give them more space behind this teleport line between between the line and the wall if you wanted to. Uh, a lot of stuff like that. You just kind of play around with it. If teleporters aren't working, they're not working, and you gotta optimize some more. Uh, and that's what playtesting is for. Yeah. After that, uh, I um, I like to like as a personal taste. I like when you make the player do something to uh, start enemies teleport in. Instead of like uh, you walk into a room and all of a sudden stuff happens or uh, stuff spawns behind you or you start the map and then they're already spawning in or something like that. Um, so I would put a little barrier here in front of the revs. All right, and I'd raise it up in front of them. Yeah, so there they are. I'll have to give this its own tag. I can show you just kind of the process of doing this. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for the closet. Now these uh, teleporters, I got to give them destinations. So let's go ahead and draw and draw some destinations. So there's one. Go ahead and. Uh, you gotta put the destination thing in there. Now, real quick, make sure that when you do 
um, put teleport destinations in that they are tagged on all the difficulties if you want enemies to spawn in on all difficulties uh, this is actually a way to make uh, death pits only for high difficulties so you got that as an option you can uh, only put a destination there and then uh, on UV when the player tries to use your uh, teleporter nothing happens but anyway so there they are I go ahead and uh, tag them one through six kind of randomize a little bit just a little bit a little touch there um, and yeah so they uh, should be spawning in but one more thing uh, oh well I still need to lower the barrier so let me go ahead and do that so we gotta make ourselves a switch and just texture it real quick I like my all black and this switch one mega this is very fun to use um, it's a lot of fun because you can well I, I hold shift and uh, use the arrow keys and this will like shift around the different switch textures until you find one that you like um, so I kinda like this one right here this one and this one and then we're gonna give it then we're gonna give it a uh, action I'm gonna give it action 23 here this is just uh, switch one floor lower to lowest floor it's gonna be tag seven so when you press on the switch it'll lower uh, that barrier now one more thing uh, we have to do is we have to make the revs hear us make sure that the revs hear us when we fire so I uh, I would recommend and I took me like four maps before I started doing this but uh, I would recommend to start your map whenever you start a new map is to have like a, a large square that you make a, a large shape that you make and map within that there are a lot of benefits to this but for the purpose of this video um, you can take one sector in the corner somewhere and you can join it to the teleport closet and in that way uh, you'll just always you'll just wake them up by default as soon as you shoot in this uh, open area so now you have to make the player shoot somehow, maybe uh, make them shoot a switch or give them some kind of encounter that really forces them to shoot. Uh, but then, of course, keep in mind, pacifist players will prevent uh, enemies from spawning in. They'll try to do as much as they can without shooting. So it's up to you if you want to allow that or not. And so sure enough, uh, I can start the map. And when I shoot, the revs will wake up so we can check this out uh, with IDDT. So there they are moving around. Look at them. <laughs> Look at him go. Now when I hit the switch, there they are, they're spawning in. And I didn't give any, give myself any weapons, so I'm screwed now. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, that's done. And then after that, we want to make your next teleport closet. You can like maybe copy and paste it. Um, you can use E, and you can, well, not use E, but you can like shrink down the size if you want something smaller, maybe just like a, a few enemies or uh, whatever you whatever uh, whatever works for you. But after you make that new one, uh, what you can do is make a little tunnel, like here, or um, you can have it lower, and you can make a little tunnel here. Uh, make sure that the tunnel is too small for the enemies to pass through, because uh, you don't want them to be like crossing over into different closets. Um, but yeah, then when you shoot, so you can make sure of all this, uh, they will wake up. You can make sure of all this using this ear, the sound propagation mode. Um, if the closet lights up green, that means they can hear you from uh, where Doom Guy is there, and so that works out. And you can just keep connecting every closet that you make. Uh, so some fundamentals about the closets: you have to make sure since you're working with enemy AI, right? Standing to the west is going to cause the revs to be walking west. But let's say, for example, I had these guys. Well, if I had these guys here, they will never walk over those uh, teleport lines. If I have them down here. They'll only be, they'll mostly be using the teleport lines that are up uh, up in the north, and we don't want that either. This that wouldn't be very optimized. So you got to make sure that Doom Guy is pretty much like, like in the fight is like in the center, sort of the the center of where this uh, teleport closet is, and that'll be, um, that'll be just a, a little bit more polished for this fight. And of course, if you end up having uh, enemies spawning in kind of slowly, uh, there's a lot of things you can do. You can add more teleport lines, more teleport destinations. You can split your uh, closet into an, uh, another closet if you wanted to. So a lot of options there. Um, and also, I would recommend when you, um, if you if you like a map, you can check out other maps and, and see how they do their teleport closets. I've seen a lot of funky things. Like uh, you can have. Like you, can, I've seen dubs, man. This man makes in Pooger's map 31. He just makes a square like this, and then he just starts, 
and he he draws like a bunch of lines like this and this and just going all around and all of those are teleport lines but you have to do something at the start of the fight to wake up the arch files and then they run over these like a bunch of teleporters that are in here all tagged differently um danny does stuff like i believe it's danny he does stuff like this where uh the closet has a bunch of lines like this um i believe uh nirvana has teleport closets where they look like this actually um something similar to that I i'm not sure what was like the optimal shape uh, I, I know how to make my teleport closets. I, I don't know how uh, to do others other types uh, very well, but um, yeah, so you can check out other maps and see how they do things. Uh, one other uh, really, one other um, teleport closet uh, type that I really like is when you want to spawn in individual arch files and cyber demons, and you want to spawn them in it in a very specific specific location. Um, let me show you actually Legion of the Balls of Steel. I did this in a. I did this in uh, one of the parts. So I spawn in arch files up top here, right? So you, if you've uh, played the map, then you know that like up here, um, I spawn in arch files in the second phase. So here they are, these guys. Now these uh, these little closets here are made in a way that they're, they're uh, surrounded by a wall that's up high. So after you hit all three switches, then these lower, and then the arch file can move. He has freedom to move, and now we've got these uh, teleport lines here. And of course, uh, once again, like the fundamental, make sure that uh, they have enough room behind the lines there to move, and they should teleport in just fine. Um, and for these, I also have them like uh, at a very specific location. So that means this guy will always teleport on to the same uh, teleport line. It's kind of hard to do this at, at this uh, distance, but um, yeah, so each one will always teleport onto uh, the same destination. Uh, another uh, thing that I did that was, that was pretty fun for this was I had um, this little location where the cacos were coming out of the sky it was kind of my uh, the effect that I wanted here. So let me try to figure out which, um, so tag uh, 14 and 24. Um, I believe, I believe it's these closets right here. Um, yeah, yeah, these are the ones. So the way this works is I've got um, sector down here, and in the sector down there, it's a line that um, they're gonna cross over while they're up high. So their position uh, in relation to this silent teleporter um, actually causes them to teleport in at a location that's up high. That's why um, That's why when you have some like silent teleporter that Doom Guy runs over, you can spawn somebody in a room where they're already like in mid air. Um, and you, so you can do that with uh, silent teleporters and that's, that's uh, kind of how this works. And again, it's a barrier in front of them that blocks them. And also for um, any uh, teleport closets that have flyers, want to make sure that the ceiling is down to their heads so you don't fly all the way up and, and, and waste time and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, it's a lot of stuff about teleport closets. Basically, just uh, <laughs> see what shapes you like or just do what you saw in this video, whatever works for you. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, peace.